the Bees came as close as you could last season in terms of making it to the playoff final and then being defeated. They are now looking to make it back to the top flight of English football for the first time in 74 years. How remarkable that would be if you're a Brentford fan. And Watford's defeat earlier to date makes this a good opportunity for them to consolidate their place in the top two. Cross from Norrington Davis. Stands up back with Raya, who's given it away here. And Smith across to Brown. And it's a gift wrapped opener for Stoke City here. Less than 30 seconds on the clock, and the Potters are ahead. And it's another clangor at the back from David Raya. For these free kicks. It's aimed towards Suter, who's the biggest of them. And Powell's there! And it's saved by Raya and Brown with a second effort which goes wide. And it goes, and Reed's there! Oh, and Winston Reed, what an opportunity that was for the defender. I'll tell you what, you don't get many free headers in the box against Stoke City. Stoke's last league win here was way back in January 2000. And here's a chance for Brentford to perhaps level it. Da Silva coming in there. Fosu still lurking. It's back into the middle and Suter heads it away. Taken short, which I don't think many people were expecting. And there it goes towards Harry Suter, who's won it again. And it's back with the defender. And just goes beyond the back post this time. But just taking their time once more. De Silva out to Fosu. Fronts up his man. Oh, good skill from Fosu. And then it falls for Janelt. Oh, and that's wonderful from Vitaly Janelt. Brilliant goal from the midfielder. No goalkeeper is getting near that. Look at that for a strike. Third goal of the season for Jan Elts. But by far the best one. What a goal. A bit more direct this time from Brentford. And here's Ivan Tony. And that's well charged down. It's a good chance to break for Brentford here. It's aimed forward towards Tony. And there is Ivan Tony at the back post, and he was almost found. So many of these nice passing moves from Brentford. And the shots well saved by Angus Gunn that time. Had to look sprightly, the keeper. Thumping strike from Godos. Won the ball well, and then instantly hit it. And that's a good overlapping run. Norrington Davis stands up the cross. Powell's in there. And here's a chance. Oh, it's chipped up into the air and it's off the line. Everyone at the pump for Brentford. Winston Reid it was who managed to clear that off the line. Jordan Cousins, the substitute, tried the chipped effort. And that's heroic defending, actually, if you look back at it. Not this time. Just reset it, and then the cross goes high from Thompson, and Powell on the turn, can't hit the target. It's forward in Blemo's flick, and Tony's there! And the championship's top predator has struck again. Number 17 is living the dream for Brentford. That's 25 goals now for the campaign for Tony, all of them in the league. And it makes it his best ever scoring season. Stoke need to get the ball forwards and quickly, but they won't manage to do so. And it's Brentford who recover from falling behind within the first 30 seconds to record a vital win at the top of the championship. Thomas Frank's team 
doing it once more and no surprise Ivan Tony once again at the centre of things as Brentford consolidate their place in the top two and just put a little bit more pressure on Norwich tomorrow.